And I dropped my jaw, man. Boom! What's up, people? I'm waiting for the guys to get here. Wally Beach River Landscapes. Beach River Landscapes. Hey, listen, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something um, and just kind of tell you my thoughts on it. So anyways, um, if you guys follow and watch um, Instagram, you saw me post something saying that um, they're trying to form a coup, you know, employees and all that stuff. So listen, let me break this down real quick. I'm just gonna make this quick. Recently, I mean, you guys that watch know that, and if you haven't watched, we've, we've just had a really, really fun slew of crap when it comes to employees lately. I'm sure all of you have, but we've had thefts, break-ins, you know, all kinds of stuff from employees. Update. So, uh, you know, Jason, um, you know, our last crew leader that ended up stealing a bunch of equipment and it was found in pawn shops and everything um, he is in jail and he's been in jail for a while so that's where he is going to be for a while actually he has like his hearing tomorrow or something like that um, so I don't know hopefully he spends some more time in jail um, <clears throat> so recently had a, another crew leader another one another one another crew leader that tried the, this thing that happens in landscape. It's just so crazy, it drives me crazy. So let me start off by saying, where do people think that they can get hired by somebody and then try to take their business out from underneath them after being there for six months? Like where does the entitlement gain so much strength that that becomes your mentality and your focus and train of thought. Where does it, where does it manifest? So, um, you know, doing these properties, crew leader, your job as a crew leader, and I know a lot of you guys watch that don't own businesses that, that are employed, you know, by businesses. So let me be very clear. L uh, let me be clear. When you are hired as a crew leader, you are ultimately there to relieve the owner of duties and stress okay i have stuff to do that's why i hire you i got stuff to do that's why i hire you we hire you to be a crew leader to manage the crew to do stuff that i can't do while i'm not there to make sure everything gets done and i will say this and I can say whatever I want because I've done almost all of it in lawn, lawn maintenance and landscape, but not all of it. But I've done enough to say this. Once you become a crew leader, your position gets 10 times easier and 10 times harder all at the same time. So it becomes physically easier because here, yes, and I'm going to say all. All you have to do here is mow. And if we're shorthanded, you trim or whatever you want to do. Grab an edge or grab a weed eater, or grab a bag and pull some weeds, you know what I mean? Or find a vine to rip out something. Just find something to do. You delegate. You weed eat this, you weed eat that, you edge this, you spray that. That's what you do. Like you, you delegate responsibilities to other people. That is your job. That is your job. And I'm sorry, that part's not hard at all. That part is like super, super easy. So you pull up to a property and you assess the property. I like to do little quick one through drive arounds um, just to see what everything's looking like. I park and I know what everybody needs to do. I'm gonna mow it out. Um, can you please grab the hedge trimmers? And I, I talk like that and I, sh yeah, I mean, you don't have to, I just do, it's in here, I just can't help it. Can you please grab the hedge trimmers, knock these buildings out, 
Um, you guys just figure out who wants to weed eat what, but we need to, you know, get everything weed eated. I need you to edge everything. And, and then that's it. Everybody goes and does their job. Like that's all you have to do. Then you get on the mower, you mow everything. And the reason I like crew leaders to mow is because they're the eagle eye. They're the, they're the property manager um, of this company. When you're on that mower, it is the only way for you to visibly see every square inch of the property that does get maintained for the most part. Um, so when you're on a weed eater, you're not gonna see the whole property and edge your vice versa, you know, you get my point. The mower is the eagle eye to lawn maintenance. I mean, that's the person that sees everything. That's why I like the crew leaders to mow everything. That's why I like that. So your job is to pull up, assess everything, get out, mow, and then see what needs to be done after afterward. And I'm sorry, but it's, you end up physically having the easiest job, period. Now, mentally, it can be very difficult when you have other clients coming at you, you got the owner coming at you and all this stuff, you can feel like you're pinched. I try to alleviate that and go, uh, if somebody comes to you and asks you something, please refer them to me. Dude, I take so much off of that plate, it's crazy. If a property manager comes out and asks you to do this or do this, say, absolutely, let me check with Wally real quick. And they're fine with that. All of them know that. Sometimes they just wanna come out and get you first because they haven't had a chance to call me. I try to do, because I've been there, so I know what it's like to be pinched in between the owner and be pinched you know, between customers. So I tell my guys the same thing. Everybody just goes, absolutely, we'd love to do that. We can take care of it for you. Just let me make sure that, you know, that's fine with Wally. That, you know, I don't know if he's got us doing something else on top of it. That way it's on me. You know what I'm saying? If something can't get done today, it's on me. It's not on you. I try to relieve all the pressure I can. I can keep going on and on and on and on. So anyway, so this guy, this dude, this, 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 this dude. <laughs> so three Mondays ago, I didn't realize that they were only here for five hours on one of these properties. They're like 29 acres. Five hours, man. That's, that's nothing. Okay, I didn't realize that. And usually I know everything, but that particular Monday I was slammed doing a bunch of stuff. Um, I didn't even know they got back to the shop or anything. And I was like, dude, you guys are already at the shop, blah, blah, blah. I was kind of aggravated, but um, he was like, everything looks great, everything's straight, it's all good to go. I was like, okay, as long as it's good to go, I'm gonna check. So anyway, I'm out here the following Monday and I drop my jaw, man. Boom! Hedges off the chain everywhere. There's like it, just so much stuff that it could have got done. And I was politely upset, if that makes sense. Like, man, you guys can't be here for five hours on these big properties and then leave. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that unless everything looks good. They don't care if it looks good. But when there's like six buildings that needed massive trimming and then you guys left, like that's why they get upset. You can't do that. So anyway, I think that ate at him for some reason because he devised this he devised his plan, plan. So they went to lunch and they came back from lunch and they was like, hey man, let me holler at you, I, I gotta talk to you. I was like, all right, what's up? And this part was so cute. <laughs> this part was adorable, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you. So he's like, hey man, I gotta talk to you. All right, so we go to the front of the truck and he starts, you know, when people start with those mannerism, mannerisms and they start kind of acting weird and fidgety and they don't realize that they're doing it, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not seeing themselves and, and it's involuntary. So he starts telling me that, um, hey man, you know, I just, I gotta let you know that, um, you know, some of your clients, man, they're, they're not happy and, um, you know, yes, this is my crew leader telling me about my clients. Yep. So um, he's like, they're not happy and, um, you know, they're talking. I'm like, what are you, what are you trying to say? Just get to the the point man i'm very direct get to the point uh they're gonna let you go i'm like who's letting me go he's like x y and z i was like all three of them told you that they're letting me go he's just like yeah and so the back of my mind i'm like why in the world would they tell him and not tell me that you know what i'm saying like that doesn't make sense i know they loved him um like i love all the guys until they do me wrong um, so I'm just like, well, that's just weird that they wouldn't tell me. It's like, what's 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 going on? He goes, oh, I'm gonna tell you. They're telling me. They told me that they all get together and talk, and you know, you just don't communicate with them. They never know what's happening. They don't know what's going on. Um, you know, they bring me stuff, and then you bring me stuff, and then I don't ever know what to do. And I'm just sitting there, starting to go, uh huh. You know when you start like playing, you know, inside whatever, you start ro rolling your tongue around. I'm like, yeah, okay. I go, well, hey man, here's the thing that doesn't make sense to me, okay? I was like, thank you for bringing it to me. Cause you know, just in case, you know, that might be legit, you just, you wanna be respectful. I'm always respectful. So I 
I'm just like, here's the thing, is I talk to my clients. They're my clients, you know what I'm saying? They're my clients, man, not your clients. You know, Lee and I own this business, you don't own it. So I talk to my clients every single week, at least two times a week. So I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I just said, I don't know why they would make that up and tell you something that's not true because that doesn't make any sense why they would want to tell you that. He's like, yeah, I don't know, man. I was just like, and secondly, I was like, you know, they coordinate things that they want done extra to me. And then I, you know, I delegate it to you. And I've told you a million times, if they're trying to come at you with something to do, all you gotta do is just call me and tell me, but I don't hear from you. So I don't know that that's happening. I just check up on you all day when I end up leaving, saying how's everything, and you just say everything's great. You lead me to believe that everything is hunky-dory and, and perfect, you know what I mean? So um, he's just like, yeah, but that's just what they're saying. It's like, so they're all letting me go. He's just like, yeah, that's what they're telling me. So anyway, it didn't make sense. So I start off, and of course, what are you gonna do? You're gonna call your clients, right? So I'm calling them. These are three property managers on three big, actually board members and property managers combined on three really big properties that we do. So I'm just like, hey, um, you know, so-and-so, I texted them and I was like, hey, so-and-so said that you guys are letting me go. I was just like, uh, are you gonna give me a notice or is there something I need to know? I was like, I thought everything was great. Uh, messaged me back, I have no idea what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other one ends up calling me for both properties. Um, two of them know each other, but they don't all know each other. So um, she ends up calling me and saying, hey, you know, I just wanna let you know something. Um, that your crew leader has been telling these people that today's his last day, and he said that like three or four different days, it's his last day, um, you know, that he never gets paid on time, he makes like 300 and something dollars a week, um, they, the whole crew can never get their pay on time, they never know when they're gonna get paid. Uh, I mean, just the most ludicrous crap. And then saying um, he used to own a landscape business and he's gonna get back into it um, and he would love to get into doing these commercial properties um, and he's just gotta get all the equipment together and he's got like uh, an investor that's, you know, that's working on getting him the equipment and he just needs a little bit more. I mean, obviously you know where I'm going. So he was fishing and shopping himself to our clients trying to get them to buy him equipment and try to give him our accounts because his head got so big from me being so encouraging and them being so encouraging and us both being encouraging to the whole crew, it went to his head. I don't send him all the emails where people are bitching and complaining, you know what I'm saying? I politely go, hey guys, can you make sure that you get this done today and take care of it? And they do take care of it, they bust their butt. I'm talking about the crew leader, not the rest of the guys. So his head got so big that he thought that the client's loyalty was to him, not to me. I mean, dude, I can't, I, I can't. So I, you know, long story short, even though this hasn't been short, I call all the clients and I talk to them and they're just like, that's sad. And then they start telling me all the stuff that he's saying. And I'm having to go, how embarrassing. I'm sorry that my guy brought all of this just ridiculous drama to you. That's so embarrassing, dude. My God, it's embarrassing. So embarrassing. So I'm sorry that he brought all of this drama to you guys, I apologize. But they're like, dude, we love you, it's okay. So when I address him about it, um, I mean, of course, he didn't even really respond to that part. He just, you know, responded to other stuff. Um, but you know, that person's not here anymore, obviously, he's gone. So, um, you know, here's something that, that, that we implemented um, yesterday. Today's Tuesday, yesterday was Monday. So had the guy sign a non-compete clause, okay? A non-compete clause will prevent that person, depending on how you write it up and what they agree to, but they all signed it. Um, I told them to read it first. They cannot work or solicit, even if it's with another company, on any of my property addresses for three years. I don't care who thinks that's ridiculous. I really don't care. It is protection. You have to protect yourself. You can't trust anybody at the end of the day more than you can throw them. I, I believe in our guys. I push them. Um, you know, I definitely give them more praise than I've ever gotten working somewhere. I feel that's really important. I respect them. I've pulled off of jobs because people were rude to them. Um, I defend them all of the time sometimes over the clients and all that because I know them and they're they're amazing um, but there's a line that you have to draw and you're you're a business owner and they work for you and then that that's that's that and you have to keep it there um, I've had so many employees in the past try to take clients and a lot and some did way back in the day you know what I mean without right out from underneath my nose people can lie and they're selfish people can be disgusting people can be just 
just evil and have no conscience and just do whatever they want to do and hurt people and not care about it. So you have to protect yourself. You really do. So one step, and there's going to be more coming, but one step is a no compete clause. So they cannot go work for another company that inadvertently gets the client and they can't work for them on my property. So that way there's no question that they tried to help get the property. Um, I, I've you know, had a lawyer look into it and all this stuff. The, the point is, is it's going to prevent them from starting a business and then come after our clients. That's what I'm gonna worry about. And that's the focus of it. So you cannot solicit or start your own business and solicit um, while you work here or after you work here um, for three years. Um, and that's the three years after termination um, is what it is. And it's not, it's got, I got a clause in there that says you cannot solicit, you know, while you are employed or while you work for Beach River Landscapes. And then it says, you know, and then it's in so many words, after three years post employment, um, you cannot solicit um, business. You cannot solicit any of our clients. Um, so a no compete clause is really, really important. And honestly, I think especially when you do residential properties, um, it's going to be part of the packet from now on that you sign right off the bat. Um, especially if you do residentials, it's easier for guys to take your residential clients than it is your big 30 acre condo clients. You know what I mean? No compete clause. You can't try to get it. And if you do, you're fired. And then if you try to mow that person's lawn um, after you don't work here anymore, then I'm going to sue you. Like, end of story. That's how you do it. Um, so there's some other things I'm, I'm working on, but I mean, the audacity of people. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. You guys have any experience with guys trying to take your business from you? I think the answer is going to be yes a lot. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys deal with it. I have a lot of stuff brewing, a lot of stuff going on in my head thinking about um, you know, what I'm thinking about other things to implement and to do. Um, but you know, one thing is, you know, I have relationships with the clients. They love me. I love them. And ultimately that is the core of keeping, um, your clients and loyalty uh, is the relationship you develop, but people can wedge in between any relationship if you allow it. So I let my clients all know after this, you know, if somebody comes to you or addresses you that way, please do me a favor and let me know right away. Cause that's not right. It's unprofessional and it's unbecoming and you shouldn't be drug in the middle of it and fortunately they're all human beings they understand and they're like we'll let you know if that ever comes up or even comes close but leave me a comment below let me know what you guys have dealt with and how you deal with it and dude where are they at i gotta mow man we gotta mow yeah in the process of finding another crew leader obviously <laughs> peace out